Welcome to the State of the Fleet Industry, a weekly video series produced by our Automotive Fleet Magazine. And the big news for the week of December 1 is the announcement that Lease Plan USA and Wheels Darlin have completed their stock purchase agreement to create a unified fleet management company. And joining us today is Shlomo Crandis, uh, CEO of the newly combined company. And I want to thank you, Shlomo, for joining us. Yeah, Mike, I'm really happy to be with you. Thanks for talking with me. Well, thank you for joining us. I know you're extremely busy. You know, over the decades, I've witnessed a lot of integrations, a lot of merger acquisitions going on. But th this one is truly a, 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 in a monumental scale. I mean, we've witnessed in the past uh, the merger between D&K and Jelco at the time, you know, number one, number three uh, the fleet management companies. We were, uh, witnessed the merger of THH and GE. But this is the first time ever that we've had a merger of three of the top six fleet management companies into a unified fleet business. And plus, it's the first time ever that we've seen a tripartite merger. So my first question to you is, you know, with all of this in mind, how do you take three companies that have strong uh, legacies, that have long histories, that have many long-term employees and combine them together culturally so you go to market as a single company so mike it, we're fortunate and it starts with having dedicated employees who are passionate about serving clients and one thing that really isn't a mistake is that as we looked at our three companies we see that we already follow four key principles that will guide us um, and shape us on our path forward uh, the first principle is related to clients. Every of every one of the three companies was obsessively, singularly focused on clients. I like to talk about it as being focused on client success. And that's because client success is about outcomes. And we are focused on delivering for our clients. All of our companies are focused on acting with integrity and character, doing the right thing being accountable for our decisions and our behaviors. It means that we will acknowledge for our clients if we do something wrong and we'll fix it, we'll get it right. Um, and all of the companies see that as an important principle that we all follow. All companies are focused on the company as a community. And the three communities that are coming together are friendly, productive, high performance oriented, we take care of our clients and we also take care of each other. There's a nice feeling in each of the companies. Um, last is all of the com companies want to foster an environment where we can innovate. And as you said, all three companies were leaders in the fleet space and we're leaders because we brought different products and different thinking to the market. So we're so excited to be able to do that together. Um, on the culture question, astute question, one of the first things we've done, both with Wheels Donlin and now with Wheels Donlin Lease Plan, was to create an analysis of our cultures. And we're acting in a very deliberate fashion to rally around our similarities. And so you might ask, what are some of your similarities? Um, not surprisingly, all three are hugely client focused. We're strongly process focused. We're consistently polite and friendly as opposed to being argumentative. And these are very strong cultural characteristics that we can rally around. Um, you may say, what are the differences? And I think we see opportunities in many of our differences. We do communicate differently in the companies and we try to be very explicit when we're talk talking with each other so that we understand that in some cases we're not disagreeing, we're just used to communicating differently in each of our legacy organizations. And a, a really another example of a difference besides the communication is some of our companies are a little more incremental in their thinking, whereas others are a little more revolutionary in the thinking. And we have opportunities in some cases to be revolutionary and in other cases to kind of take our time and do it incrementally. And like I said before, we're being very deliberate. This wasn't easy. The teams had to get their heads around coming together because we've been competing for 40 years 
since lease plan came to the US. And I've witnessed amazing leadership um, in all of the companies where the leaders have been willing to come together, um, work together, present our merger to our employees in a really unified manner. And um, we have secret weapons in that Matt Dyer and Tom Callahan are my partners. And we all bring different thinking, different experiences. We come from different backgrounds, but these two guys are super smart. They're strategic. They're passionate about serving clients. And I'm so lucky to work with them. Um, also, probably the most important is our people are a differentiator. Our employees are dedicated and they really care about serving clients. They want to get the best answers and do things in the right way, both for our clients and for their coworkers. So I'm lucky. I feel honored and humbled to have these wonderful teams and wonderful clients uh, mm -hmm. that we serve. Yeah, you know, I, I totally agree with everything you said. I know all of the people, the key players within the three companies. And the one thing about the fleet management industry is we're a very collegial type of industry. It kind of lends itself towards these types of mergers. So that I that I understand and, and that I think is a, is a key factor that's kind of pointing towards uh, your success. But you bring up an interesting point, you know, the differences. So you know, talk about, you know, incremental versus revolutionary changes. And that gets to my next point is, how do you go about creating operational integration between three different companies? Do you take that incremental approach? Do you take a revolutionary approach? How do you balance the two? And so for example, each of the three legacy companies have different products that are delivered through different partners and processes. How do you integrate those and develop a joint strategy? You know, other people have done mergers before. So part of what we need to do um, is have good process and good discipline. We have an integration management office working on the merger between Wheels Donlin and Lease Plan. And the IMO was able to complete a ton of prep work and data gathering before the close that occurred last week. And I have to say that the teams have had great collaboration and open feedback before we ever got to closing. Um, we've been able to do this and leverage our experience from last year when Wheels and Donlin came together and be very open with our communication. And our employees have been really courageous about learning from each other. It's not always easy to do when you bring competitors together, but the employees have been fantastic. Um, generally, we are taking a measured approach and this is key in order to produce low disruption like we've had as we brought Wheels and Donlin together. Um, notice I say low disruption. I never say no disruption because our business changes and it evolves all the time. Our clients don't want us to stand still. And this is true whether we were merging or not. Um, regarding products, each company has grown and developed independently um, across their mobility journeys. And our clients' needs has always been the catalyst for all of the companies uh, to produce products. And we know clients will benefit from diverse thinking and processes and products. So as we bring the companies together, we've been very respectful about identifying differences, um, explicitly looking at how we serve clients differently. And our focus is on enhancing our ability to serve clients as opposed to selecting a right way. Mm -hmm. And because we're a larger company, the end answer is there's going to be multiple ways to do things because we need to meet multiple client needs. Um, there are areas where we can go quickly. You know, when, when we think about corporate functions, we can bring those together quickly. But we've been very careful and deliberate in uh, client facing and operations and technology areas to make sure we understand exactly what we have and to uh, not disrupt our clients or our employees. Yeah, you know, the key point you brought up there is, is your customer focus, client focus, but you know, that goes two ways. You know, clients also likewise have very strong um, relationships, uh, uh, loyalties, affinity towards their legacy account management teams. Uh, 
Are there any plans uh, or anticipations that there's going to be changes among the account management teams? So let me say first that you are correct that our clients and account management teams have very close productive relationships. And we do not want to disrupt that um, unless a client requests a change. You know, there are situations where clients want changes. Um, as we do this integration, our employees are really focused on their primary mission of delivering value and success to clients. So it's not only that we're not changing the account management teams, but we're being careful not to change the way the account teams are managed right now until we understand it very well, especially between Wheels, Donlin and Lease Plan. Because as, as I said earlier, there's multiple ways to meet client needs and it's likely that we'll be using multiple strategies to manage the teams to support clients. But a, a bottom line is our focus is, has been, and always will remain on our clients. And our transition will be deliberate and thoughtful. And we'll communicate with our clients, our employees. And I hope to talk with you more as we move forward, just so I'm that working. everyone kind of knows what we're doing. Well, let's go to the next question. And, and that's the elephant in the room. You know, and, and this is the thing that everyone is talking about. What platform do you think the combined organization will be using going uh, going forward? So we have not decided on a combined platform for the three organizations. We are continuing work to unify wheels and downland technology through the wheels platform. We previously announced that. And right now we're evaluating technology as well as future plans that we have at the legacy lease plan and the legacy wheels downland. When we step back, you, you, you might not see this, but our clients will know all of our technology was developed over time. And we've begun a project um, where we're taking a more holistic view and examining client needs, end to end business processes, along with our thoughts about future needs, both for the company and for our clients. And once we've defined all of the needs, and the direction that we want to go in, then we'll look to marry that with our technology choices. The goal of our integration effort is to use this heightened period of investment to evolve faster. All three organizations um, incrementally invest, invested in systems over time. And we're in a period right now where we have some extra people, ideas, and investment dollars that we can use to evolve our technology more quickly. And I'm being really specific with the words and talking about evolution and not revolution in this case, hmm. because our clients and our employees completely want, want us to change, but they want us to do it at a pace um, where they can come along with us. And the goal here is for our change to be positive and beneficial to both our clients and our employees. We're already the market leader with many of our capabilities and the goal here is to improve what we provide clients. And this means that as we look at technology, we want to be more scalable, more configurable, and we want to use modern tools to analyze the rich data that we have. The one mm -hmm. thing we want to change is we want to do it a little faster and get it to our companies, our clients quickly. Wheels has always had a strong global presence. You deal with a lot of multinational companies. You've taken an approach of, uh, you know, partnering with uh, with another major uh, lease company, um, ALD. Um, but now the new entity, the legacy company Lease Plan uh, USA, brings a whole new element. I mean, how do you envision the global integration being structured in the newly combined company, and and will you continue to engage uh, ALD? So. In the short term, our Wheels Donlin business will serve global clients through our existing global alliance with ALD, and our lease plan business will serve global clients through a cooperation agreement that we have with Lease Plan Corporation. You know, a comment on lease plan, they're the ones who really brought global to North America back in 1983, and they really kind of pushed all the rest of us to figure out how we take care of clients who needed services around the world. So um, we can we can thank Lease Plan 
for as a competitor in the old days for making us better. Regarding ALD, we have a great relationship with ALD, and that's at the senior levels, the mid-levels, and down in the tranches where the people really get a lot of the work done. And our combination with Lease Plan USA will make the relationship even stronger and more collaborative for clients after ALD completes their acquisition of Lease Plan Corporation, which we believe will occur in the first quarter. Um, when, the, when their acquisition is done, as part of their integration management effort, we'll join up together to determine the best way to serve our then combined um, clients that'll be in 60 different countries and will together be managing over 4 million vehicles worldwide. Amazing. Yeah, it, it's exciting times. And, uh, and I really envy you in a lot of way being uh, able to really create fleet management history through this uh, integration process that's going on. But unfortunately, we've reached the limit of our time and we're going to have to pick up this conversation in a future discussion. But I uh, definitely want to thank you for joining me today, uh, Shlomo, and, uh, and all the best to you and, and um, legacy teams of Wheels, Donlin, and Lease Plan. Hey, Mike, thank you very much. We're very excited. And um, thank you for having me. And while I'm on with you, I want to thank our clients. We think about you every day. And our employees are an awesome group. And they are here to serve clients. A great way to end our interview. Looking forward to our next one.